It looks like this is the week that Arc the Animated Series is finally releasing, and for many months I've been saying that this show isn't actually real, uh, despite uh, multiple people having seen it already, um, you know, friends of mine that uh, work at Wildcard. But nonetheless, uh, it looks like the show is in fact real, and it is coming out uh, about as fast as we thought it was going to uh, for a few weeks now. Uh, March 21st, Thursday is when Arc the Animated Series should be releasing. Uh, you know, there's a chance that it is pushed back, but generally we've had this date confirmed by multiple sources. And given that there's been a lot of different changes recently, different things that are updating, as well as the, I have the full episode lengths and six thumbnails for uh, some of the episodes available right now. And I'm gonna show, uh, show you guys those and go through them. So uh, needless to say, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like. And without further ado, let's, let's get right into it. So why is it coming out this week? What do we know? Well, over the past couple of weeks, we've seen on Google, if you just search Arc the Animated Series, there's actually a release date for March 21st. And at first, um, you know, I, I saw someone post about this on, on Twitter, and then I made a post about, uh, about it myself. And it seemed like this was potentially kind of edited or fake, but uh, there wasn't really a way that anyone was able to change it. And it looks like actually, um, you know, this date is still around and it's been around for these few weeks. So it seems to be correct. Um, granted, Studio Wildcard has not posted about this at all. There's been no official announcements about it coming out the 21st, which is very strange, other than this Paramount Plus tweet, which ARC Survival Evolved, their uh, Survive the ARC Twitter account, um, basically responded to with this, you know, eyes emoji. So basically something is going on, obviously, and, and they've made that publicly available without overtly saying the date, which again, I don't really understand why they're waiting. Maybe Paramount Plus is the one that has the rights to make the announcement the announcement, I'm not totally sure. Um, but needless to say, what really confirmed the date was then with Apple TV, where you can actually access it now, but I had checked myself where um, it was a couple days ago when Apple TV was, uh, basically you could search Arc the Animated Series Apple TV and you could find some of the episodes as well as the synopsis uh, for those episodes. And um, essentially what ended up happening is those, those episodes showed the date of March 21st and you know, at that point, it's like, okay, well, if it's March 21st on Apple TV and then it gets removed from Apple TV because it's not supposed to be up there yet, uh, as well as, you know, March 21st on Google, just Google results, then I think that more or less confirms it unless it gets artificially pushed back. Um, and so that's kind of our, our evidence for saying it's coming out Thursday, March 21st, which is literally just in like two days. Uh, now, uh, who's going to have access to Arc the Animated Series? Are you going to be able to watch it in <clears throat> regions that, you know, are not the US or or maybe certain parts of Europe? Uh, we don't really know yet. Because they haven't announced it, you know, we, we have no idea. We don't know if you're going to need a VPN or something. Uh, we don't know which countries it's going to be available in. And this is something that we need a press release for. We really need Wildcard to come out. Or, Wildcard isn't totally responsible. So whoever has the rights to this, whoever's actually, you know, publishing it, which I assume is Paramount Plus, um, you know, and as well as uh, Jeremy Stieglitz and Jesse Rabchak and, and the associated executives and everything, producers, they really need to come out and just explain, you know, okay, who's going to be able to have access to it? Uh, how are you going to buy it? Which leads into, okay, YouTube, right? So uh, the way I actually found these images is if you search Arc the Animated Series episode, um, or, you know, basically exactly what I searched here, um, Arc the Animated Series, YouTube, Arc the Animated Series, Season 1, Episode 2, um, in this example here. Um, you end up finding, okay, you can click on this link, and then if you click really fast, you can actually see the link, then we're going to go into the length of all these. I have an extension that uh, allows me to see thumbnails of videos, and so that's how I got these different thumbnails here. Um, but basically, you can search for each of these six episodes, and GP has talked about this as well. And so you can find these, you can find the synopsises. Um, I'm not gonna go through those because I didn't really, I think I briefly read maybe the Apple TV ones, but I didn't really process them and I don't really want to go through them because it's kind of a bit of a spoiler, obviously. Um, but we can talk about the length and overall the thumbnails because I don't think they really spoil too much. So with that said, this is the episode one thumbnail and we see Victoria here and Helena, obviously. And, um, you know, she's really happy looking. I think we've probably gotten kind of a glimpse of this already in the trailer, so nothing too new here. Uh, with episode two, we see a character here. I don't know who this is. Maybe this is... 
possibly, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like maybe it's, maybe it's Helena's mother potentially, but this appears to be in a hospital. It's just like in a hospital. So I don't know. It could just be, and like maybe a nurse or something, uh, who knows? That's episode two. Then we have episode three here. Um, this is Thunder Comes Rising, I believe. And he's here in some kind of like camp with probably Henry. I think his name is Henry Townsend, uh, the guy or Henry. Yeah, something like that. Um, he's over here on the right. I think the scarf kind of gives it away um, as well as like the red tunic. Um, then we have episode four. We have the gladiatrix, which we've, of course, already seen before. Um, you know, obviously a very close shot, but it just goes to show really the, uh, <clears throat> the incredible detail in these characters. You know, you can really appreciate it. Uh, again, we have Thunder Comes Rising in episode five with a Megan in the foreground here. And then episode six, we have Thunder Comes Rising with some like green. This might be in, I don't know. Wait, is that like a tech door? I don't know. Maybe this is in some kind of like tech area or the Broodmother arena or something. Um, of course, with Henry again here, he's looking kind of kind of upset uh, for some reason. So let's get into the lengths of these episodes now. So episode one is 4739. Um, episode two is 2506. Episode three is 2633. Episode four is 2458. Episode five is 3326. And episode six is 4030. So um, adding them all up, I <clears throat> add this all up to about three hours, uh, three and a half hours, like 3.30. Um, but I'll just go through and, and add it all up one more time just to make sure. Um, roughly, we're looking at about... Uh, yeah, about 200 minutes, um, which is about three, yeah, about like three and a half hours, basically. So, um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below uh, with everything here, everything that we've been presented, the, the fact that Arc the Animated Series is finally releasing in like two days with very little announcement or, or anything. It's just like, oh, there we go, it's happening. So that's, that's cool. Um, yeah, I mean, let me know how you feel about that kind of uh, announcement style, because I know that we have had, you know, a, a main style of announcement for and, and sort of release for Studio Wildcard in the past, which has been, you know, they'll announce a date and then they'll fail to make the date and then they'll announce a new date and then they'll fail to make that date, um, which, of course, is due to leadership. Um, those are the ones who are making the dates. But when it comes to this show, obviously, it's a little different because it's not in the hands of Studio Wildcard. This show is in the jurisdiction or the, um, you know, it's been produced really by a set of specific people that aren't necessarily within Studio Wildcard um, or, or, you know, they don't have to be, right? Um, there's all kinds of different people like uh, Vin Diesel, for example, that has been brought on, I believe, as well as Jeremy and Jesse that have, uh, I'm pretty sure, like funded this entirely out of pocket, which is uh, an interesting choice, certainly. So um, let me know what you guys think about that and and this you you know new release style. And otherwise, uh, enjoy the show. I guess I guess we'll um, we'll hopefully be watching it on Thursday. So uh, good luck, everyone, and uh, take care. Bye, guys.